Hey, I'm Kat from WBRU Providence, and I'm here with Morgan Eve of Brown Bird. You guys got an album coming out soon, right? Axis Monday. Yes, it comes out on the 28th. Awesome. Yeah, I've been listening to it for a couple of days. It's absolutely gorgeous. I was wondering if you could tell me what Axis Mundi like means. It seems <laughs> very exotic. Uh, yeah, Axis Mundi. Um, the uh, the whole title of the record is pretty weighted. It's um, it's a phrase that I found in Dave's uh, lyric book after he passed, and it's uh, I obviously did not know what it mean, meant, and I looked it up. And Axis Mundi is a it basically represents the place where heaven and earth connect and it's a it opens up um it's the place where communication happens between higher and lower realms um it's illustrated by mandalas um it acts as a repository of knowledge um so it's yeah it's a pretty uh heavy <laughs> title yeah that's that's gorgeous and i i definitely uh kind of got those vibes like listening to the album it seemed mm -hmm. like there were a lot of uh, connections being made in that album I was wondering if you could uh tell us a little bit about like the process of uh, recording that album like what was that like for you uh it was really difficult <laughs> um this album was written um half of it was written right before we knew that Dave was sick and the other half was written after we knew he was sick so um Dave's parts on this album were demos that he recorded at home uh during the year of recovery and um, the completed album I did in like May and June of last year, um, recording my own parts at home onto his parts, working with Seth Manchester from Machines with Magnets as an engineer. Um, so it was, you know, it was a, a long process. It was an emotional process, um, but it, you know, it was it was a fun process to you in in some ways. There was a lot of alcohol involved. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I mean sometimes alcohol is just <laughs> necessary and can like it facilitate <laughs> the creative progress. You know, absolutely. Yeah, and I I think you I could definitely uh, kind of tell like there there were some songs that sounded a little bit more uh, like a little bit more disjointed than others, and I was mm. wondering if you could. Uh, Maybe just like for my sake, because I was just like so into this album listening <laughs> to it. Uh, tell me a little bit about um, the first track on the album, Focus. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me a little <laughs> bit more about that song? I just I was like floored by it. I thought it was so beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Focus is probably one of the more intense songs on the record. Um, the, uh, the decision to have it be the opener was um, my engineer Seth's idea. He was like, I don't care what you do with this record as long as that is the first song. Like, okay, I guess. And listening back, it was like, well, there's really nowhere else that it would make any sense because it's such a punch in the face. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, focus is, um, I don't know. It's uh, its hard to talk about really anything on the album without being like, well, it's really emotional. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it's its a song. We I think we actually wrote it before he was sick. And we, um, I don't know, it's just, it's, you know, <laughs> I'm not really sure what to say about it. <laughs> it's yeah, no, I mean, that's that's totally fine. I was just like, it, I think uh, the decision to make that the opener was definitely a good one. It's like a very like strong start to the album. I yeah, think. we thought so. We wanted to kind of pull people in and, and make it clear that this was a album that you really needed to listen to. Yeah, just, yeah. It's not background music. Yeah, no, I think it's it's uh definitely super cool like how uh how into like getting this album out to the world you mm -hmm. are right now. Like that's that's just really awesome. It's the most important thing to me right now. Yeah, and there's um oh there's another really gorgeous track on this album, uh Tortured Boy where mm -hmm. you sing. Can you talk a little bit more about that song? Yeah, Tortured Boy is a song that I wrote for Dave. Um I had known him for maybe 2 months and um it was the very beginning of our relationship, obviously, and I wrote that for him with absolutely no intention of it ever being used as a brown bird song. And, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the um, the version that's on the record is our demo that we did at home, and he kind of randomly asked if we could put it on the record, and I have no idea why, because, you know, we had an excess of songs, and, and you know, it's a six-year-old song. <laughs> yeah, but like there it is. <laughs> um, but yeah, but there it is, and it's you know, it it totally has its place on this album, and it it's taken on a whole different meaning. And yeah, you know. yeah, no, it's like it's really, really gorgeous. Thank you. Um, so so now you're kind of uh going, you're going on tour now, aren't you? With uh with the Devil Makes Three. Yeah, I actually just came home from tour with them. Oh, but I've, okay. I've been touring with them quite a bit uh, since January. 
Yeah, that's awesome. How was it? It's awesome. It was great. We just got back from Europe. We were there for four weeks. It was you know, super fun. Yeah. Great. Oh, that's that's so awesome that, that you're doing that. That's just yeah, like I agree. That's, <laughs> that's like a really cool thing. Uh, so I'm wondering, like, what uh, what new music are you into now? Just like to listen to <laughs> uh, new music. Does that or exist? Just, like like music that's new to you, like something <laughs> that you've been listening to for the past couple of months. Um, uh, the last couple of months. Um, you know, the stuff that I've really been into mostly is um, uh, a lot of post metal. I listen to a lot of Isis and Pelican and Russian Circles. Um, my kind of guilty pleasure recently has been Ratatat. <laughs> I'm, I'm not ashamed to say it. I think that they're fucking great. And uh, oh no, yeah, there's there's no shame. I have <laughs> I have an absurd number of guilty pleasure bands that I'm really into, like yep. some like some like Scandinavian like s- yeah. symphonic metal. I'm Hell like yeah. so into it, you know, <laughs> just for some like guilty awesome. pleasure head banging time. Like, I'm yep. glad that you're willing yep. to admit to that. Oh, like, absolutely, <laughs> yeah, it's my jam. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, that's super awesome. Um, is there is there like anything else that you want to get out there about this album? Um, you know, I just I know I want our story to be out there. I want people to hear this record, whether they know our story or not. I'm hoping that you know it speaks for itself, regardless of the history and regardless of you know what's been going on in the community. Um, I just want it to be out there and and gaining new fans and and just you know take on a life of its own yeah yeah I mean I think that the story uh can definitely speak for itself and I think that it it gives people the the opportunity to kind of create their own story listening to it like I think there's there's definitely a lot of like impactful stuff on there yeah definitely that's that's what it's supposed to do yeah it's really awesome uh so yeah Axis Mondays coming out you said April 20 April 28th April 28th definitely check it out it's awesome uh with WBRU Providence I'm BJ Cat. this is Morgan Eve